my great pleasure to speak with um, Professor Carolyn Frankenberger, uh, Professor of uh, Strategy and Innovation. I want to thank you for being part of our panel yesterday at the Brightline workshop where we talked about uh, transformation specifically. And the Drucker Forum conversation here is all about ecosystems. And as we think about ecosystems, it's about solving great problems and doing that through ecosystems to be able to, in doing so, um, tra transformation becomes a key enabler in terms of organizations being able to transform themselves to operate in this new environment. Can you share some, some thoughts and thinking and research that you've done relative to uh, what it takes for an organization to truly transform? Thank you very much. It's a very important topic. So for me, it's, it's really the key element of everything that we see currently was ecosystems, with digitalization, etc. The key is really the transformation, and if we don't, if we are not able to manage the transformation, then we will not be able to thrive in the new world. And therefore, for me, it's less a strategy game; it's more an implementation game. And that's um, where I did a lot of research, actually, my entire career. But um, in the last year, I did an intensive study again. So I, I interviewed more than 100 CEOs, chief innovation officers, and re really to understand why are some successful with this transformation and why are some not successful. Yes. And um, there are various things. So I cluster them in four different dimensions. So the first of all, you need to understand as a CEO, but as an organization, why you need to do that. You, you shouldn't just do ecosystems because everyone does it and because the Peter Trucker Forum is about ecosystem, but you should truly understand why do I do that, what is the purpose of it, why, what does it help me in the to, to thrive and to be successful or to be offer better services to my customers. Mm -hmm. So that's the first one. And, and for me, kind of this is the challenge that a lot of incumbents have, just sticking to this why, that it's something fundamentally new. So it's really a new business model that is kind of at the center of this transformation. And I see it kind of as I always draw those two S-curves. So the first S-curve is kind of the, the old business model where they used yes. to be successful, but then now with ecosystems and everything, they really need to come up with a fundamentally new business model, and that's kind of the second S-curve. But that's the challenge because then there's this dilemma between the old world and the new world, because yes. and, and that's a real um, big challenge for the incumbents because on the one hand side they need to thrive the core business, they need to do the digitalization of processes there as well and then on the other hand side they need to come up with this new second S curve and then in addition to that the third challenge is they need to make sure that they create synergies and that they benefit kind of from the learnings of the past and that they can bring them over to the new S curve. So that's kind of the first dimension. And the second one is the what. So what do they need to do? And this is this has a lot to do with strategy. So what is the overall strategy that they want to um, that that they have in order to to thrive in the future. And I also see a lot of companies that, that do all those shark tanks and corporate accelerators and you name yes. it and they invest a lot of money in it but then at the end they fail miserably because they just did it because everyone did it, but they didn't really yes. think about what they want to achieve. And therefore, you need to have an overall strategy, not meaning a strategic plan for the next five years, but more like a portfolio of strategic initiatives yeah. that help you to, to get there. Maybe you can cluster them in, in different kind of decrease of radicalness. So you might want to have like more incremental ones that help you to thrive in the core business, mm -hmm. but then you want to have more radical ones that really help you to scale and to address all those ecosystem topics yes. that are out there. And I see it kind of as a portfolio mm -hmm. with more incremental ones and more radical ones. That's the what part. And then the third part is kind of the, the entire how dimension. So how do you do this? How do you implement it? How do you make sure that your entire organization um, pushes that, that they are engaged, yes. that, they, that they are uh, supportive in, in this right. whole transformation? That they and are aligned, supportive, Exactly, engaged, and we can come yeah. to that in a minute. And then the fourth part is kind of the also to measure the results, because if you don't measure yes. it, it doesn't get done. And this is also something we never talk about, because measurement kind of sounds a bit old-fashioned, and why should I measure innovation? How can I measure innovation at all? Yes. But it's also super critical that you do that, because if you don't do that, then you just do projects, and you start projects, and then there are tons of projects, and then at some point the organization cannot do anything anymore because exactly. they are just full of projects and they don't know how to prioritize, etc. And I talked to a lot of CEOs throughout this last um, year and they told me, well, we have those 
60 projects and they are all super important but then it was an organization with uh, no, roughly a billion turnover but that's yes. too much you cannot have 40 super important strategic projects so exactly. you need to uh, boil it down to like four the or five few. the critical ones and yeah. focus on them and just right. neglect all the other ones so and then uh, therefore you have to measure the results and and right. if you see that they are not successful you also need to pull the plug and say okay we kind of reshift the resources to something else because otherwise they they invest in this project and go on and go on and go on and then there are no results and then they get frustrated and then you can forget about your transformation. Mm -hmm.